Uncharted. Again, to another one of these fucking Bloomberg leaks. Uncharted. Um, they look like they're making another Uncharted game. You know why they're making another Uncharted game, don't you? Uh, because The Last of Us didn't fucking hit the mark. And Sony's gone, you, we want a big blockbuster. We want a big blockbuster. That's their focus now. They want big blockbusters. And The Last of Us Part 2, well, regardless of all the awards and shit, and we know that they're shit because tons of them were handed out to um, Cyberpunk before the game came out. Um, <laughs> 200 awards. For what? It hasn't been fucking released. Um, and we know that they want this. So they're, they're, they're putting through a, a, a sequel f- uh, through it. Um, mm. well, I didn't mind uh, Thief's End. I thought it was quite a decent the game. They, they ended it. I did. That was the problem. They ended and it. And it was nicely ended as well with the daughter and telling him, then telling him about, you know, just their lives and what they've done. I thought just it was a, nice. Just, just a quick one. Nigel Farage is back. <laughs> Scroll down. He'll go he away. Like, he's fucking back. He's back on the page. Look him off. Well, look, he's um, making an effort, all right? Most people, when they become unemployed, don't make something that much of an effort. <laughs> um, that's because Nigel unemployed. Uh, Farage is unemployed. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I I think that they should make another one. Um I think that Neil Druckmann needs to stay away from it. I think they need to go back and rehire Amy Hennig because she was responsible for the first three games. Get her on board and get her doing it because that was her baby. Yeah. She understands it. She will know the people to get in place in order to get that job done. And I think it will work. The, the, the one, what was it, the one they did? They did the one with Chloe and what's so much the bag. Nadine. Right on, uh, the fourth one, yeah, Nadine. Right, that was the one thing that pissed me off. Nadine should have died at the end of the fourth game or they should have given you the option to talk her out, yeah? So you could have mm. talked her out of whatever she was doing and she walked away. I'm sorry, Nathan Drake in the Uncharted universe has killed more people than fucking cancer and he couldn't take out a small woman. Bullshit. Yeah? Him and Sully couldn't take out a woman. Him and his brother couldn't take out that woman. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. He's fought fucking zombies. He's been fucking taken on bloody weird hallucinations he's taking on yeti like creatures in yeah uh, in thinking and he can't take out a small woman bullshit if she the thing is the way that she fought she fought like a man rather than f- fighting like a man she should fight like sharon carter because sharon carter would pick up a fucking fire extinguisher and take someone out with a fire extinguisher that would have made her a bit more formidable if she was ca- always carrying around like a, a some kind of kosh or a, a nightstick or something with her i would have believed it a bit more and she would have made her look clever at the same time but she should have been the bad guy, but they didn't let her be the bad guy and didn't let you take her out. Um, and the only thing that I found that humanized the character in all the stories was probably the bit where she's in the game with Chloe and there's a bit where she sees some monkeys, yeah? And she goes, look, monkeys. I like monkeys. And that was the only thing I found really likable about the entire character was one line. Yeah. I like Chloe yeah. Black, but, you know, <clears throat> she has gone a little weird recently. So, yeah, Keith, I, yeah. Oh, sorry. I was going. I was going to say that that game. I did play it for it. Didn't we get that on Game Pass or something? Um, no, no, we got not that, Game Pass. That, um, that, that, right, Plus. that was the. I think that's one I messaged a load of people because it became free on the PlayStation Network by accident, and I told everyone to download it. I I'm sure I played. I, I, I played it and finished that one. Mm. And yeah, it was a short uh, one. It was, it like was a fairly much. short. Yeah, uh, it was almost like a, a DLC, but they were selling it for. A lot of money. No, they didn't. I don't think they sold it for full price either. Oh. It's like I'm sorry, it's like twenty, thirty pounds, not full price. It is definitely not a game that I bought a physical copy of. I think I did get it digital. Yeah, uh, it's probably because of what you said. So, um, although the game was okay, uh, you know, it had the same fighting mechanics as the other game, um, so it played the same. Nice locations, looked yeah. really great. I, I never thought that the two felt believable as a pair. If really. it was, if it was, um, uh, Claudia Black's character was it, and Chloe and Sully, it would have worked mm. better, yeah, because yeah. you could have Sully sexual innuendos and Chloe going, Don't be such a dirty old man, yeah, that would have been fun. Thing. And and, and, Sully, and if you would have had bits where she was on her own and in trouble, yeah, it, and, and there were there were. The, the Nadine character, if I remember rightly, was all the way through. 
Um, I say all the way through, it's not like she was doing it every five minutes, but it was almost every 20 to 30 minutes she would make some really nasty comment about um, Nate and her brother and his brother. Oh, they fucked me over. You know, she would do that. Remember, I can't remember. Can you not? Done, but I can't remember. Yeah, they, she, met, she was the one who was mentioned all the time and being told to get the fuck over it, basically, by by client. So it was um, not a great game. But in terms of an isolated game, game mechanics, the way it looked, the way it played, it was nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, let's go and talk about something a bit more unpleasant, shall we? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.